everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm on the north side of the house working today. Josh is up top, he's working on the ceiling boards, trying to get that all done up here. Uh, but while he's doing that, I'm working on foam uh, insulation. It's uh, exciting to be starting on this because this is kind of the beginning of the end of getting the house kind of sealed up and everything. Uh, and I also got some great news. Uh, as you can see, there's just wood here, there's no house wrap. One step that you're generally supposed to do before you, you know, get to all, you know, all the foam and everything is to put a house wrap up. And a house wrap is like a membrane, it's a vapor barrier, it's an air barrier. It makes it so your house isn't leaky. It seemed really redundant to me, though, to put up a house wrap and then on top of it put all these layers of foam because the foam layers are going to do the same thing. They're going to prevent leaks, they're going to prevent, you know, vapor and moisture from getting in. So I asked the building inspector, and it's always been my position that the building inspector can be your, your friend and your ally as opposed to your enemy. I asked them, I said, you know, it seems kind of redundant to me to put up a house wrap and then put up all this other stuff, which is going to do the same thing as the house wrap. In addition, it's also insulation. And he said, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Just skip the house wrap, no big deal. Just go right to the insulation. So that's what I'm doing. And the way that I'm putting up the insulation to ensure that I don't have any leaks is that I'm staggering all of my joints. Now, there's going to be four inches of insulation on this wall, and these are two inch panels. So two inches plus two inches equals four inches. But instead of just putting up two st stacks of uh, foam insulation right on top of each other, I'm going to be uh, staggering the joints so that there's no seam uh, where the none of the seams are going to line up with each other. Uh, so the second run, instead of putting up a full piece, I'm putting a half piece that's going to go along the bottom here and the, that way the joints are all going to overlap. Before that, I'm going to put on in some spray foam into all these cracks. So I'm going to start right here, right on the bottom. I bought a whole case of spray foam because I find it is really useful. You can also see on the bottom here, I've got a bunch of that borax. And that is to try to eh, deter termites and ants and things from coming in here. All right, so I'm just giving a good spray underneath. It's kind of mixing with all the the borax down there. All right, and going up the side. Now temporarily, I just have these uh, foam panels just nailed to the wall with just some little nails. And that's just so that they, you know, they're kind of hanging out there and they're not gonna fall down while I'm working on them. But I've got some monster nails that are gonna really hold this thing together, which I'll show you in a moment. Okay, actually I didn't need to go that high because I'm only going halfway up. <laughs> All right, well that's fine. I know I had a, kind of a crack in the foam here. So I want to fill that void. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's all set. We're gonna take the foam panel. We've got it all cut to size. I'm gonna put that there. So the foam panel goes right in like that. This is gonna not only hold this up slightly, but it's also gonna be a brace to hold the other end of this. Now this is what actually holds the panels onto the wall, these big well, giant spikes. And what I'm going to be doing is hammering them in just underneath, just underneath the seam so that there'll be a little lift to drop the next course of foam in. Made it so it flushes out right there. All right. So this just pushes right in. Now what's behind this is the post of the wall. So this is going to go into the post. Let's go. Tap it in. I don't like to sink any of my nails until everything's pretty much all lined up. Make sure that the height is all good. That looks good right there. So I'll do the next one. And push it straight in through the foam. And I just continue that right along the wall. I've got all the pieces pre-cut. They're ready to go up. So spray foam, drop them in, and then retain them with these guys. And I'll sink these, uh, these nails once I get the whole run in. That's it. Thanks for watching.